took out a, a, a Kleenex. And she spit on it. And then she wiped my face with it. And then she shook it out. And then she put it on my head. And then she dug around in her purse. And she got a handkerchief, some lace on it. She put that on her head. And away we went. And we went inside this big building. Keep in mind, this is uh, pre-Vatican II. We go in this big building. I don't know where we are. And we go inside, and there's, it's dark. And there's a, some man up front in white, but he ain't turning around. And I'm watching, and my grandma's right with him. And the people are standing, then they kneel. They stand, they kneel, then they chase flies. They stand, they kneel, and they chase flies. I remember thinking, I don't know who these people are, but they're very nervous people. And he was speaking some language, I didn't know what he was saying. And there was, like, a lot of smoke. They were swinging something. A lot of smoke. And so I began to look around. And all of a sudden, I saw this statue. It was, like, human size. It was a woman. She was standing there, long dress, male. She had a, a saucer with a pair of eyes laying on it. Those things look like real eyes. Those are some real eyes. But yet she had eyes in her head. And she's showing these eyes. I have since found out that was St. Lucy. But at that time, I couldn't get over that. And the whole time, my grandmother's going through the whole, and she's right with him. She's right in rhythm. She's right in step. She knows the whole gig. And I can't get over this. So we come out of there. I said, Grandma, what was that place? She said, that was a Catholic church. I said, Ooh. I said are you Catholic? She said, no. I said, well, why'd we go in there? She said, well, there's something about a Catholic church. Whenever I have something very important or very heavy on my heart or very, very important to pray to, I like to go into a Catholic church. And all I could think about was... <laughs> so I said, why? Why? And she said, because there's a certain presence in there. My Lutheran grandma could feel the presence of the Blessed Sacrament in that church. And I could only think about them eyes. Years ago, I was speaking in a conference in Pittsburgh, and this woman came up to me. She said, you're not going to believe this. I knew your grandmother. She used to love to go to Mass. I used to drive her to Mass. She just came to Mass every Sunday. I said, she did? She said, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I used to take your grandmother to Mass. I used to do this, do that. I said, well, let me ask you something. Did you ever ask her to join the Catholic Church? She said, no, I never did. So you see, I'm on, on an all-campaign right now because I'm going to tell you something. Coming from a convert, it's intimidating to walk up to somebody, a priest. When I used to see a priest or a nun across the street, I was scared to death. I didn't know what they were. Them nuns? I didn't know what they were. I didn't know if they had feet. 
because he used to move around like this. I don't know if they had breasts. Couldn't tell if they had hair. They used to move around like that. Man, they could pull all kind of instruments out. Boom. They were like David Copperfield. Man, they could boom. They could pull this out, pull that out. I don't know what they were. I asked my mother. We used to share the, the bus stop with uh I was, went to Robert Moore School, and this was St. Joseph's School. We shared the bus together, and they had a nun that did bus duty. Ooh, man, man, he's straighten up, fly right. And I asked my mother one time, I said, who are those? Who are, who are those people's sister? And he always had, like, a man's name with, like, Mary. Mary Joseph. Mary Basil. You know, they had, like, some man's name, but they put Mary in front of it. So I said, who are those people, mother? And she said, well, those are sisters. Those are nuns. They don't marry. I said, no, 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 no. No, mother, you got it wrong, because this one wears a wedding ring. She said, well, yeah, because they're married to God. I said, well, this one ain't too happy about it. So you have to understand where the Protestant comes from. It's not so user-friendly. I don't know what was happening. But I wanted to fit in. I wanted to know. And I could go on and tell you some more stories about that. But I'm going to tell you how I came to go. Because my mother was Baptist and my father was Lutheran, we never really practiced an organized religion. My father was very, very, um, um, let me say, uh, he would never take the Lord's name in vain. We said the blessing. We said our Father. We did this and that. But we didn't go to church, an organized religion. And as I got older, I got a whole new religion. I went into broadcasting. And when I went into broadcasting, I got a whole new religion, money. And then when I was doing it, I was doing it. I did everything. I did everything from the beginning to being on the air. To, and I found out the money was in sales. And I found out this and that, blah, 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 blah. And so I was doing it. And I was caught up into the material things of the world. And I looked around and I said, you know, I could do this for myself. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I had worked at, in, this is in New Orleans. At that time, New Orleans was like in the top 40 market. And I said, well, if I'm doing this, I could do this for myself. I'm going to just go out and start looking for some station I can buy myself. This is in the 80s, 3D 80s, you know. So I get a partner, and we go out, and we start looking around. We couldn't afford one in New Orleans, but we found one in Mississippi. So we go out. And we buy this radio station. Now, let me tell you something. I'm going to be perfectly honest. <laughs> I was highly leveraged. <laughs> it was a house of cards. And together, we said, well, okay, well, look, uh, I'll run this, and you go up there, and you run that. And so we were, like, highly leveraged to buy these stations. One station wasn't good enough. We had to buy two stations. I had an AM and an FM. 